Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a harness that you can use for sex. If you know me in real life, if you're squeamish, if you don't want to hear anything about sex, then leave this video right now because this will be graphic and I will be talking about my body and things that I have done with this harness. So if you know me and you, you want to know, you want to watch, then whatever, I don't care, but just letting you know this is what the topic of this video is. So I'm going to be doing like an open box review of this product over here. So this is the spare parts um, jock. Jacques harness. This to me is like this Q U E over here is like thick. Ju ju ju. Okay, can I just say something really embarrassing before we start this video? Yeah, review video is supposed to be serious, but fuck that life. Okay, so the spare parts over here. Can I just tell you how dyslexic I am? In my my whole life, I always thought that said. Um, square parts, and I always thought Spongebob, and I was like, I don't want to be... <laughs> also, it says, don't be caught without a spare. Ha! So this harness, which I got at Early to Bed, um, which I will link in the description below, I would recommend you actually check it out. I am going to review this, and then I'll tell you what I think about it, okay? We're gonna do that. So on the back of the box, it says sexy and versatile. The... the jock? It... Jock? Yeah, it's a jock harness. Yeah, yeah, it's like a jock strap. Is the only harness you'll ever need. Two strap jockey style harness, handcrafted from high quality fabric. Anyways, it's great. Let's open the box. This is some fancy ass box. When I received this, I was like, excuse me? <laughs> what is this? So you open the box, and the first thing that you see. Fucking Jesus Christ. And the first thing that you see is like, there's like this like tissue paper. So. And then it comes in a bag. So I'm just gonna throw everything since everything keeps falling out of my hands anywhere. I made a transtastic video a while back about like SCPs and Packers and they kept falling all over the floor. Anyways, so you get this like really cool bag which I really appreciate, um, especially for the price of this harness. It is a bit pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but trust me, it is so worth it. So let's take it out of the bag and have a look-see. Now it looks a little bit thick and complicated and I was like, oh God, how am I gonna use this? I didn't realize how thick the bands were gonna be and how like confusing this looks, but trust me, I use this and there is no other harness that I would ever wanna use my entire life. This is like, I have found it. You know, we always look for things, this is it. I found it, I'm good. I'm not gonna wear it and demonstrate it because like, I mean, I don't want this video to get flagged. <laughs> so it has some like really elaborate straps, so I'm just gonna like, we're gonna, we're gonna do this over here. I'm gonna put it on myself like this. <laughs> backwards, backwards, okay. So this is backwards, okay? You would put the dick on my back. So we're gonna do it this way. So this is the back part, and you actually just have to go like this to Velcro it shut, like this, which is really great because that means it could be like any size. You can tighten it very, very easily. There's no straps um, on the side here. <laughs> on the side here. So if we go to the front, um, this, your legs go between, <laughs> um, and then the peen goes in there. Now, this is actually really tight, and which is great, but I'm like <laughs> losing the circulation in, in my chest. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so this has like, on the harnessy part, before we start getting to the other stuff, it has these like little like, things that you can clip onto, and I'm thinking, what do you have, like, like lube that clips onto a belt? Or like con- whatever, I don't know. So that was really a weird concept for me. So now the front of it is what's really cool as well, okay? So I thought that I would be really uncomfortable because I have a harness in the past that I'll show you that I didn't really like this part. It made me feel like everything was kind of squished and I was like popping out and stuff like that and it was really uncomfortable for me. But what I really like about this is that um, I don't usually put the back to my harness because I don't like it, I like feeling closer. But this on the other side actually has an opening right over here. So when you put the peen in, which I will show you, it can actually touch you, which is great because there are a lot of dicks that are double or that are sided so that you can actually feel it. So I'm gonna show you two peens that I've actually tried with this harness. And again, I'm gonna show you a peen, so whatever. This is the fuse. This is the peen. Honestly, I love this so much. I, I clean this, calm down. I love this. It is so great. This part actually rubs on the wearer, so let's just say me, and then you can put a bullet uh, vibe right in there, which is so good for both partners. Like I said, every time I make a video with a dick in my hands, I am talking to Amazon. I made a review video about this. Please go check it out. It is definitely worth it right there. Right there, yeah. 
high. So the reason why I like this is because one, there is already an O-ring, so you don't need to change it. And what's great about this is that it's a stretchy O-ring, so you can actually put any size pin in there and it should fit, um, unless it's smaller than the actual O-ring. So see how I'm not struggling to put the pin in, but I like that it's a little bit harder because then you know that it's actually going to be um, stable. Okay, so I have put the pin in. All right, so once you wear this on you, because of the, the shape that the pin actually is, and this part goes on you, it actually goes up a little bit. So this is what it would look like on your person, okay? And this is a really great angle because when you're doing someone in the back, in the front, wherever you are in the mouth, it's a real, I, in my opinion, for when I wear it, I don't know, I think that it's a, it is just like a really, it's a, it's a great angle to go where you're going. You know, and I'm not going to talk about this pin specifically because I have made a review about it. But the way that this harness sits on you, that no matter where the dick is, it can actually it 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 it, it just it, it works well. So I just showed you with this one, and then on the other side, if you choose, you can actually cover this. Some people don't like when the pins touch them on their skin, which is fine because you got a little curtain. Or if you want to open up the curtain, then you got what's what's supposed to be on you on you. Right there. All right, now the other peen, and this is a big one that I also reviewed, is, <laughs> hello, this is the real dough, and this is the big one. I really thought they were going to send me the smaller one, but that's okay. So let's uh, see, this is an example of a way thicker one. Like, compared to the fuse, this is, this is a little bit intimidating. All right, so this peen is actually made to wear without a harness. I have tried that, and honestly, it is a little bit uncomfortable. You need to have really strong muscles down there to be able to hold the bulb inside you. And in my opinion, it just wasn't really that comfortable. Come on, come on. Nah. I'm talking about the peen and the puss. Can you come on? Anyways, so I have heard a lot of people use this with a harness, so I decided to try it with a harness. Now, this is how it goes, and because it's a little bit uncomfortable and this part is like really high up, it is a little bit strange at first, but remember that this whole part is inside you, okay? So if you do angle it like the way that it's supposed to be angled like this, it is not that uncomfortable of a, of a, of a um, situation, and this harness actually helps you keep it inside you and thrust. Now there is one thing with this peen that I'm just going to mention here really quickly. Um, I have heard a lot of people use it for anal, which is fantastic. It did not really work that well when I tried that. Um, I feel like it is made for somebody with parts that are the same as mine, um, which is fine, but I did make a complete review video of this, so if you want to check that out, I will put it hello there. <laughs> All right, so my review videos get really long because I just like ramble five ever. So let's get on to the pros and cons of this harness, all right? So the pros, I absolutely love it. Um, it is very sturdy. It doesn't move around. You don't have to keep readjusting. Yeah, sure, you can readjust once or twice while it's on you because once you put it on and then when you're actually lying down and thrusting, it is a different feeling. Your body weight kind of shifts, you're fat, so you just kind of like got to resize it, I guess. Um, so that's completely fine and I really like that it is very sturdy and it doesn't move around so while you're doing it you don't have to readjust so you think like it's not really like you're wearing it. Um, I really really love that there's already an o-ring and you don't have to keep switching them out so if you are using multiple peens during the sex that you're having you don't have to keep changing the o-ring so some people like to start small and then they go bigger and you can't have a huge fucking peen in um, a little o-ring right so you got to change the o-rings oh my god so annoying so at least with this one you can actually stretch it it's really big I really like it I really like that there is a back to it like this that you can open and close. Other harnesses that I have had, it actually comes with a back that you can either take off or put on. Without the back, it just looks like a bunch of strings, a bunch of cords all over the place and I was really uncomfortable with that. To give you a little example, I actually have it right over here. So this is the harness that I used for years, okay? This is actually the second one that I have because I had one before and then I threw that one out. So it is just a bunch of strings, it's all over the place. So this is what it looks like over here. So it is the same concept, it's like a jock right over here, but as you can see there's no back, and that made me really uncomfortable. But there is a back that you can add to it here, so it would go like this, so that's usually how it's like. But if you have a pain that's double-sided, you can't use that unless you take off the back, which like I said makes me really uncomfortable, it moves a lot, it's not very sturdy. It is probably one of the cheapest harnesses you can get, I will link it. 
in the description, but this one, trust me, it doesn't move around no matter how many toys you switch it with. The O-ring is perfect. If you want to go from a toy that has a flat base and don't want to touch it on you to a toy that has a base like that that you want to be touched with, it is so easy, and that's why I absolutely love this harness. It also makes my ass look really great. Now, I feel like some of these review videos need to be like on Xtube or something because I definitely would love to show you what this looks like on somebody, but I can't do that on my channel because I have like too many young people who watch me and stuff like that. So maybe I will actually put this on Tumblr and show you what it looks like when it's on because I think that it's worth it and I think it's like it's a really good harness and I think that everybody should have this because it has rid me of a lot of my dysphoria. Now there is cons to this, it's not perfect like every other toy or packer or whatever that we have in the world. Um, the one thing that I don't like about this is because it is thick, which I said is fine, it does kind of feel like underwear, um, which I don't like having. I would love to just have that nude feeling, especially when I'm using that peen that's in me and in my partner at the same time. But because I can't, we can't have it all, we can't win, um, it does feel a little bit like underwear in the beginning, but honestly, after a few tries of it, like you just slip it on as if it was nothing. And yeah, it does feel a little bit like underwear, but if you just think of it like, oh, this is just, it's a jock strap, and, and this is like a, like make it in your head like, oh, it's a fantasy, it's like a sexual thing, and there's literally someone right outside the window watching me. I'm in my underwear, I am holding a harness, I had dicks all over the place. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful. I absolutely would recommend you purchasing it. Please take a look at the link description uh, below, and if you would like to buy this, please use my affiliate link that I have with Early to Bed. It helps me pay my cell phone bill every month. And again, I'm not just reviewing this as a good thing because I want you to buy it. I'm reviewing this as a thing that I love because I do love it. I have had products that I really did not love. Um, example, and I'm just like walking off, is the... Um, I don't even know what this is called, but I reviewed this with another thing. I don't even... What the fuck is this thing? I hate this thing. It's so stupid. I don't like it. Anyways, so I'm just telling you I'm not reviewing things because like, oh, I just say everything is great because I want you to buy it. Absolutely not. I don't want you to waste your money. This shit's expensive. We don't have money to waste in this community. Anyways, I would definitely recommend this harness. There are other harnesses out there. If you have anything that you'd like me to review from earlytobed.com, please let me know and I will see you later. Bye.